want to be a teacher? My best memories from when I was a child all stem from preschool and kindergarten. On my first day of preschool, I was so scared of being away from my mom that I was screaming and crying and I had to be dragged into the classroom. But my sweet teacher made me feel at ease and soon I absolutely loved being there and I was especially close to Miss Marianne. She really influenced me and I thought the best place to be in the world was in the classroom. In kindergarten, I was the biggest teacher's pet. I loved everything that had to do with learning and I wanted everyone else to love it too. I loved reading poems to the class and standing in front of the room, guiding them all through the passage of the day. We had to do this project one time called All About Me, where every other student would write things about the star. When it was my turn, nearly every one of my classmates wrote that I would become a teacher. Even in second grade, I would go back to my preschool to help out my beloved Miss Mary Ann with teaching and guiding the little kids. I still have the weekday song we sang to them stuck in my head. Several years passed and I started to be unsure of what I wanted to do with my life. When I reached my senior year of high school, I decided to take child development where we would get to teach an actual class of preschoolers. The first day the children came running in, I knew that this was where I was meant to be. There was one shy little girl that had the same name as me that I fell in love with. She soon grew into such a social, loving, bright girl throughout the year, and I was so happy to see that she had developed so much. I loved every single child in that class. On the last day, I had about seven drawings and pictures of me and different preschoolers together that they all drew for me, and I lived for it. I still have them hanging in my room. Not only did I love the children, but I was a natural at creating lessons for the kids. I earned a perfect score every lesson, and on one, I received extra credit. My teacher said it was the first time she had ever given extra credit on a lesson plan. I found that I could incorporate my creativity and artistic abilities to create vivid, colorful activities to capture the preschooler's attention. At that point, I knew what I was meant to do. Through all the years of going back and forth, I had finally figured it out. My preschool and kindergarten teachers had such a huge impact on me, and it makes me want to have that same effect on others. I wanted to be a teacher that a young child could remember for the rest of their lives so vividly like I remember mine. It's something that comes so naturally to me, and I have never come across anything that gives me more joy. I know that I can be just as sweet, kind, patient, and loving as my preschool and kindergarten teachers were. I want to be like them because of it. I just know in my heart that I am meant to teach.